Hey, how's it going? What's good, my G? How you feel today? I'm good, man. All right. Good too. Good. Nothing. Over here at Walmart, waiting to get unloaded as usual. This is about it. Right. What about yourself, man? Where you at in the, in this part of the world? I'm in uh, Mason City, Iowa. Oh, you in Iowa? Okay, okay. You're not that. Yeah. You, you you up there near Iowa eighty. Right. Well, you're not that. Well, you well you're not at Iowa eighty. Yeah. No. Yeah, no, because, yeah, Iowa, Iowa eighty is in Whitecott, so yeah, that's that's a little bit far, far away from you. But still, you know, if you drive down eighty, you probably might eventually pass it, going heading back towards Illinois or something like that, man. All right, man. So, uh, so Jay, man, uh, what's going on with you? You uh, you wanted to come on to the show? Uh, thank you for coming on, brother, man. I really do appreciate it. Uh. You wanted to uh, you 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 wanted to uh, talk about a uh, Hirschbach. You know, I get right. Yeah, you know, I, uh, I get so I many. Your, your video. I get I get so Go many. Ahead. I get so many guys. I get so many drivers that that see that particular video and they they really want to come on and 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 talk about you know their experience i.e probably debunk some of the some of the sayings that uh that i had a conversation with the one guy that was in there um so before we get started man uh you know give us a little bit of background about yourself you know how long you've been trucking how long uh how long you've been uh you know what you was doing before you got into it and all that good stuff introduce yourself well um like I said, my name is Jay. I've been uh, trucking for around uh, one and a half years, and uh, I've been with Earthbox for around a year now. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm on the Smithfield dedicated account as a uh, as a W two employee, and uh, I'm in the Midwest uh, doing reefer loads. Okay, okay, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. So you say you only been in uh, you only been in the game for like what a little bit, a year and a half, or something like that. Yeah, I want to say like yeah, one and a half years. Yeah. All right. Did you get your Did you get your license through a trucking company, or you you went to school to get your license? Uh, I went I, I went to a trucking company. I went to CR England, which was a big fat mistake. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I should have well, gotten. I, I, I might as well get my I might as well get my CDL at Trump University, man. I tell you, <laughs> it was that bad, huh? Right. Yeah. They weren't lying when they say every new guy leaves after ninety days. What What was your experience uh, coming in to getting in, getting your license with CR England? Oh, it was garbage. Oh my god! I remember I uh, I <laughs> I got booked in a hotel room with this dude, and uh, he failed his drug test. And he goes up to me and he says, uh, "Do you know of any homeless shelters nearby?" I thought so from that to that guy, yeah. It just that's the end. <laughs> oh, oh, hold up, hold up. Brother man came to you and say, Yo, do you know if any homeless shelters? Like what what he was gonna do? Go there mm -hmm. and, and go there and pay one of them dudes for for they for they piss? Yeah, right. Yeah, I don't know what kind of logic that was that I guess he uh, was halfway out the door. He had his bags on the street somewhere, and he was like, let me go to a trucking company and live over the road, except that I don't have a clean drug system, and he went over there and failed the drug test. And obviously with that company, if you fail the drug test, they don't pay your way back. So he was pretty much fucked because I guess he had no money. See, that's see that's what it is with with, with these guys. They, they get so... Uh, they get so excited and they'd be like, oh, okay, well, the trucking company is going to take care of me. The trucking company is going to put me up in the hotel. The trucking company is going to pay for my way up there and all like that. But uh, for situations like failing a drug test, it's not up to the company to to even get you back. Right. You know? Yeah, that's the yeah. Yeah, right. right. I mean, because the the trucking the liability is off of the trucking company right now. I mean, you you failed the drug test, like yo it, it, yo, you got to figure out why your way back, bro. Yeah, why and why? Yeah, why should that? I would do it if I was running a company. I wouldn't pay your ass to go all the way back if you come to my company and I offer to pay and then you waste my time. No, 
So now his drug test is is dirty. Uh, even if he do go to a different trucking company with somebody else's piss, uh, and he takes that drug right. test, ain't ain't no telling that he, yeah. he might have to. He he yeah. might be watched. Like when he go in yeah, here to take the test, security. you I don't know they want can. the door open. Or yeah. That goes on your FMCSA. Yeah, but your, it also goes on the your. Yeah, it goes yeah. on the clearinghouse Back too. Report. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So he he's not getting another job. He's done for life. Well, so no, however, he, he's not. Well, 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 he's not exactly done for life. He just had to, you know. Now that he's in the clearinghouse, uh, with a with a failed drug test, um, he has to now, you know, go through. Uh, go through some uh, some education, I should say. He he has to go through some education now in order to get that cleared. Um, it might right. take about a month, take about a couple of months. But no, nah, he's he's not done for life, bro. He just uh, it's just unfortunate that a lot of these cats, you know, that's that's smoking weed every day and 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 and, and don't think about what that could possibly be doing to your body as far as you you know as far right. as you coming into an industry of this magnitude now you got people every day that comes into the facebook groups asking that dumbass question yo where can i go and detox or where, where what, what do i need to do to detox what what youtube video i, I need to look up to detox and all right. like that point blank simple right. just take six months period i i don't know right. i don't right. know how long weed stays in the body but i know if you're an avid weed smoker it's gonna take a while for that to alleviate but i i'd say at least six months this is my advice six months and then take your own drug test you know there's clinics right. there's clinics right. now that you can go to and and pay for your own drug test you know probably might be 15 20 dollars or something like that just to you know for a quick piss test or you could just go online and 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 get one of them piss kits or whatever and and take your own drug test and I don't understand the logic of the company. Why, why would they ship you all? Why would they pay you all that money to greyhound you to the facility and drug test you? Why can't they just drug test you in your home state? So if you fail, they don't waste money on a greyhound. I don't know. Can somebody explain that to me. You know, right? Uh, so <laughs> CR England. That, so CR England. They they brought you in. Um, how 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 was again? I I know I asked you in the beginning uh, about your experience, but uh, from top to bottom, uh, how long did it take you to get your license, and what did you have to go through to get them? Um. Well, I had it took me two weeks. I had to breathe fog into a mirror, and I uh, got my CDL, and I got my own truck there at CR England. Now you <laughs> now how long you was with? CR England before you decided to leave and what was your reason for leaving? Um, well, I was there for like six months. I had a really good teammate um, and uh, he's still a good friend of mine. He, he's with me at Hirschbach now so I followed him over and uh, we were running really good miles and year mark for CR England and how that company works is if you stay with the company for one year they forgive your loan which is kind of a benefit to CR England, you know, because, you know, Swift and Prime, it's two years. And uh, I was by myself, and, you know, for all the people who don't obviously know, if you're a solo driver at CR England, you're making a $500 paycheck. So I just didn't want to run the risk of getting some garbage teammate, so I decided to just uh, pay the loan manually and just go to the company that he went to. So. Oh, so you was like, fuck it. You, so you just paid the loan out of your pocket. Did you have to sign? Now, I know back then, uh, CR England, Swift, and the rest of them that offers uh, CDLs, uh, CDL training, uh, I know they, they, they had to change the way that, you know, that they was offering it because it was a lot of people back in the day just coming in, getting their license, and bouncing out from the company. And what the company mm -hmm. did at that time, 
was baller block you from getting in with another company but nowadays uh especially after that uh after that lawsuit they can't do that no more so what they do yeah. now what they do now is make you sign like some type of uh financial aid or something like that that makes you responsible for the loan that they take yeah. out on you right yeah yeah i went through a lender who was a certified creditor and it went on my credit score but i paid that off i didn't have a problem Okay, okay. So, uh, CR England, uh, hi, bye, thank you. Now you're over at Hirschbach, man. What do you, what do you want to, what, you know, you saw the video. What, what, what kind of triggered you on the video, man? What, what was it that triggered you on the video? I don't know. I feel bad for the guy because, you know, he's the lease operator and stuff. And uh, I've never been a fan of lease operations. It's just on, just not really Hirschbach's lease purchase program in general, but just lease operations or lease operations in general, I'm not a fan of. But I just wanted to come on your show and say that it's not really a bad company to work for. Like, I've been here for a year. They treated me decently. I don't get crap from the safety department. My manager is really cool. I always get my guaranteed minimum. And uh, yeah, I'm like, I'm decently happy here and i don't have any issues with them all right so coming in so coming into hirschbach uh you, you said you followed somebody there so uh one of your partners that uh that you cool with kind of like said hey come over to hirschbach and 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 rock out with them yeah oh no i wasn't literally being teaming with them just so like i said i went to cr england i got matched up with the dude and i followed this dude for like six months he would go home for home time and i would just basically go chill in this city because i didn't want to lose them because like i said you know if you lose your partner at cr england and you're solo like i said they give you the worst of the worst load so i followed him for like six months and like i said he stayed there for a year and was like it's time to move on he went to hirschbach and then um i decided to follow him because i didn't want to run the risk of having some idiot as a partner or okay. being solo so back in here all right, so Hirschbach, man, what, what was uh, what was the experience uh, coming into Hirschbach from uh, from the time you talked to the to to the recruiter to the orientation and to now getting into the seat? It was decent. Like I, um, I went in uh, East Dubuque. Uh, the 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 previous guys, um, basically, his summary was pretty much on par with what I experienced. They were pretty cool. They put me in a nice hotel. Uh, they gave me pictures. They had uh, kind of like a buffet deal over there. I got to meet the CEO. He was pretty cool. And his wife was actually pretty cool. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, we had paperwork. We had to do like the usual like tax forms and, you know, lectures on safety and uh, the the driver facing cameras. We watched you know video clips about people getting in accidents and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, like after a day, they just uh, I, I met my DM in person and I uh, got my own truck and I went on my way. All right. So doing uh so so doing the process of coming in, uh, they didn't put you in a they they didn't put you in a hotel with another driver or anything like that. No. No no no. It was just me. Was you and the able, hotel was nice. It had a swimming pool and everything. Was you able? Was you able to negotiate uh, the amount? Uh, your 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 pay amount? Uh, well, I, I'm not sure that you probably did because you didn't have that much experience. But what did they? What did they bring you in at when when uh, when you went to Hirschbach? So I'm on a dedicated account, and uh, we have a sliding pay scale. So you uh, explained it before, where uh, the more gross miles you run uh the less of a pay it is and the less miles you run the more pay per mile it is to All basically right, so make break, up for it so so since you've been there for a year man uh break that down for 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 break that down so people can can get a a clear understanding from a driver that actually does it okay so for my experience W2 company on a dedicated route, we have a guaranteed pay rate of uh, $1,250 a week. And uh, basically how that works is they'll take your mileage and they take your cents per mile 
And uh, if you don't uh, get, uh, if you don't meet twelve fifty, they will make it twelve fifty. And if you do more than twelve hundred and fifty dollars worth of miles, then they pay you more. So it's like a minimum guarantee. Okay. Okay. But 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 okay. So this is what this is what you're on a, a guarantee pay scale, right? That's correct. Okay, so but what about so what about the sliding scale though? That's that's totally different from what you're actually on. Am I correct? Uh, no. So like let's say um, like let's say you would get paid you know forty cents a mile, and then or let's do it for for the the simplicity of math because it's easier. Uh, let's say you get paid fifty cents a mile, mm -hmm. and you run you know two thousand miles. Well, you make a thousand dollars. Mm -hmm. And they would give you the extra uh, two hundred fifty dollars. Now, in regard to the sliding pay scale, let's say I, I don't have the exact chart on me. They, they gave to me. I honestly should have pulled it up for the for the phone call. But you know, let's say I you have it. a trip that's mm -hmm. like like twelve hundred miles. Mm -hmm. You know, your rate, your cents per mile will be like forty cents a mile. But let's say you have a trip that's like only three hundred miles. Well, mm -hmm. then it would be forty eight cents a mile. They would make sure that you don't get like shafted basically on short loads and that there's an incentive mm -hmm. oh hello hello yeah are you there oh okay i thought i lost you okay go ahead no but does that make sense uh no i didn't hear with the last Before, part i didn't hear the last part you kind of cut out okay i'll try to explain again but the more miles you run in a trip the lower the rate of pay. So, like I said, if you run like fifteen hundred mile long load, it'll be like forty cents a mile. But if you run a real short load, that's like three hundred miles, then you're going to be paid more per mile, like forty eight cents. And the reason they do that is so you don't get shafted on short loads. You know what? This sliding scale is it's it's too much of a headache for 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 yeah. for an average driver. Yeah. I mean, it's you know for right. us for us veterans, you know, we we could we could pretty much right. put it together. But when you when you talk this type of numbers to 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 a new driver and all like that, that's just that's too much to take in. Short runs, you get paid more. Long runs, you get paid less. And this, that, and the third. Just give me. All you got to do is just give me one straight pay rate for whatever I do, whether it's whether it's 50, 50 cent a mile for whatever miles that I do or 48 cent a mile for whatever miles I do instead of, OK, well, right. we'll give you 50 cent for short runs and then we we'll give you 45 cent for long runs. That don't make no sense to me. Right. You know, that, that don't well, make you no look at it this way. You know, if you. If you if you go into a grocery store and you you know you buy a bag of potato chips, a small bag of potato, like you know a dollar twenty five cents for a small bag of potato chips. But if you go in that same grocery store and you buy a large bag of potato chips, you know it's going to be what like three dollars. But like if you want to do the math on how much money you're paying per chip, obviously you're paying more money per chip in the small bag as the big bag. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You, you 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 spend less when you buy in bulk. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's it, exactly exactly. But still, I can make an analogy on that. But still, you know, this is this is trucking. Yeah, I, 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 you it. know, I'm I'm, yeah, I'm all for too. I'm all for just giving me my money straight up. All right, so twelve fifty, right. uh, twelve fifty, uh, gross, uh, weekly paycheck, um, after taxes, my man. What what are you actually taking home after taxes, though? Um, so what we actually have per diem built into our uh, into our pay scale. So uh, there's a certain rate that the government will allow you to uh, deduct on your taxes as non-taxable income for living on the road. So after taxes, I see around if I make twelve fifty, I'll see around a thousand dollars net. Okay, so so your tax bracket is around about the same as my tax bracket, around three, about two fifty to three hundred. So, for me, I'll be looking right. at I, I'll be looking at about a uh, about a nine, about a nine hundred uh, plus dollar check, and I don't think that's gonna work for me. But it may, it, you know, it may. But work. I'm sure that if you if you contact like like a licensed tax agent, you should be able. 
to claim per diem on your taxes because, no, like I no, said, no, 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 I, no, no, no. I, I claim. I, I used to have. I used to work per diem back in the day. So yeah, but I'm, I'm talking about uh -huh. this is, this is per week. <laughs> you know, twelve hundred dollars because yeah, that's, yeah. you know, KB uh, transportation out of Iowa. They does, you know, they do the same thing, you know, offering drivers a guaranteed pay of twelve hundred and fifty dollars uh, a week. And that's about an average of about twenty five hundred miles. So that's how they actually calculated uh, twelve hundred and fifty dollars. I'm, I'm going to assume that's how Hirschbach calculated it as well. Right. You know that you guys do. Right. OK, well. We're totally different, and here's why. Because I know KB and uh, KB Transport. I've actually spoke to the recruiters. The catch-22 with KB Transport is that in order to receive their guaranteed minimum pay, you have to be willing to work seven days a week. Mm -hmm. So if you want to work three weeks on, one week off kind of deal, you're not getting paid for that one week off. Mm. So there's going to be 13 paychecks out of the year where you're not getting paid with KB Transport, as opposed to Hirschbox. Uh, you get um, a week, and you're still getting paid that twelve fifty. So you're getting paid fifty two paychecks out of the year, as opposed to KB Transport. There's going to be thirteen paychecks out of the year, which is twenty five percent of fifty two, where you're not getting paid. So if you take a calculator, you're probably making fifty k a year over there for doing the same work. <sighs> Man, see that's that that's another thing too. I, you know, that's another thing where I feel that that guaranteed pay. Well, I mean, I, I don't I, I don't mind guaranteed pay unless it's worth it. And to me, right. twelve fifty, and that's just me. That's 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 just for me. You know, that's this personal preference. Uh, you know, it's it's personal personal preference. So it might be different for you know, it might be different for other people that's interested in coming in to Hirschbach uh, to get guaranteed pay. Are because you company? I'm sorry. Are you company? No, I'm, Are you I'm company. Yeah, I'm company, but I'm 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 company, okay. and I got you know I get sent per mile. Um, okay. Do you do three weeks on three uh, one week off? No. No, bro. I'm home every week. So how do you do your? Okay. <laughs> so you're okay. No, I'm. So I'm you're I'm, not OTR. No, 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 no. I'm. I'm. I, my OTR days is over. <laughs> right. No, my OTR days is over. I I run a, I run a specific uh, a specific lane, uh, for the for the entire week, and then come back home on Friday, off Saturday, Sunday, and back on Monday. And get paid well for doing right. it, <laughs> but uh, but for drivers, but for new drivers that's interested in coming into companies like Hirschbach and or KB, uh, that's that's offering you know guaranteed pay. Uh, again, like I said, will work for some, but not all. But but you know, like I said, it's it is it is what it is because. Your experience is not going to rub off on somebody else's experience. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. So, right. so I mean, you know, with you coming in, you know, with you coming in and and saying, you know, what you like about the company, you know, somebody else it might not work for somebody else in that case. But uh, but a year you you're a year in, uh, you do like the company. You you are rocking the rocking the guarantee is there is there any um is there anything in the future for you as far as uh going lease because i i hear that's what hirschbach try try to do with everybody try to try to push them towards the lease instead of instead of w2 yeah, company yeah. no yeah i'm not i never i'll never go lease i'll, I'll i'm w2 until i die you know what i mean like you got to understand about these trucking companies. They're like dirty politicians. They lie their way into office. And then once they get into office, they don't fulfill any of their campaign promises. You know, trucking companies, they'll, they'll lie to you to try to get you in that seat. They don't fulfill any of their promises either. And uh, for, for the lease purchase program, I'll, I'll ask this, this question to all of the lease operators, but I've never got a straightforward answer. But if you can make more money with lease purchase than you can with W-2, then why wouldn't the company just simply only hire W-2 employees so they can save money on labor? 
why would they pay you 90k a year if they can get away with paying a w2 employee you know 60 to 70k a year why would they pay you more you know corporations and companies they're not stupid and the company the the corporate executives they aren't stupid if they were to class if they were to analyze the risk versus reward and came to the conclusion that the risk was actually worth the reward they wouldn't offer the program they would they would like i said they would only hire w2 employees so they could save money on labor costs well you know a lot of 1099 drivers uh you know that that goes lease or 1099 you know, they they do tend to make more money, and the only reason why I, I'm I'm on the fence on both sides as far as leasing go. I'm 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 still not a fan of of, of leasing, but I I do understand and I do know why some drivers choose lease over W two anyway, but. I feel this way. This is how I feel with 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 leasing. Is is leasing is not for the driver that's coming in to retire, if if that makes any sense. Um, it's not for the it's not for that driver that's gonna come in and say, oh, okay, well, I'm gonna retire with XYZ Trucking Company, but I'm gonna go ahead and and lease. On, I mean, lease with them. No, it's not about that. It's about them coming in, making or getting as much money as they can for as long as they can uh, or their duration of the time with that company. Then after they get their money, save up their money or whatever the case they're going to do with their money, then they're going to bounce out and then do something you know do something else either they're gonna either they're gonna stay in the transportation industry or they gonna or they're gonna take the money that they that they saved up you know with their leasing and all like that to you know do something else now for the driver that's coming in like yourself that's you know that that wants to be w2 you're the driver that's coming in to retire you know mm -hmm. you you coming in you want your benefits you want the company to, you know, want the company to flip for your benefits. You want the, you want the four hundred one k. You want the, you want the company accolades, whatever the company accolades is, and that's the type of driver. That's the type of driver, you know, you are or type of drivers that's coming in is, you know. So yeah, right. I mean, you know, that's that's the difference between a driver that wants to do W two or a driver that wants to do leasing. You know, and and that's just right. and that's just my opinion. Don't you know? Don't take you know. Don't don't throw stones at me. I'm just I'm just seeing it from my point of view. It probably might be different for others others, but still. Uh, so Hirschbach, right. man, you uh, again, you've been there for you've been there for a year. How's the uh, how's the equipment? I mean, um, you are you how's the equipment there? What what do they set you up with? Um, I have like a 2019 Kenworth, and uh, I think we're facing them out. We're we're getting rid of them, which I honestly don't want because the guy before me, he was the lease operator, right? Mm -hmm. And he somehow cut the wire through the lane departure, so like it doesn't go off. And I love my truck, so I'm gonna be like, oh, you want a new truck? And it's like, oh no, no, no. You know, actually, I'll keep my old one. You can give it to some other guy. But um. I love my truck. I love my equipment. I have, I've had zero issues with it. Every once in a while, it breaks down, but I just call them and they fix it. What about <clears> now? <throat> now, of course, you're, you're, you're W-2 with them. You're, you know, you, you're, you're on a guarantee pay of, uh, of twelve fifty every week. Uh, what, what yeah. else do you, what, do they offer bonuses? Do they offer, uh, do they offer, um, uh, holiday pay stuff like that. Do, what, what what other pay yeah they that you they guys offer get? um they offer um recruitment bonuses obviously but I've never really been a fan of recruitment bonuses I don't really you know feel myself as a seller I keep it real and you know, tell it how it is you know what I'm saying but um we get safety bonuses you know a couple of hundred dollars here and there every month and yeah. Like I say, yeah, we, I've, I've received two types of bonuses, like uh, the safety bonuses, which is like a couple hundred dollars uh, extra every month, and uh, recruitment bonuses. I recruited a couple of guys. But I think the lease operators, they get more 
felony too, stuff like that. How about how about uh how how about your dispatcher, man? How how is the relationship between you and your dispatcher? Oh, I love my dispatcher. I love my manager. He's been always been good to me. Um, if you ever come over here and you ever meet Jarvis Thomas, you'll be in good hands. Um, again, that's the one. Uh, another great benefit of being W two is that you never have to bump heads with your driver manager. You know, I hear all the stories of guys running the business, which I don't blame them because they are trying to run a business. But you know, if you're a W two employee in the situation and they want you to wait in a truck stop and not run or they want to give you some live load and you're sitting there waiting to get unloaded, you don't have to stress. You know, you don't have to worry because it means nothing to you because you're still guaranteed money. <clears throat> so, yeah, I, I love my manager. He's always been supportive. He's always been there for me. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. You know, sometimes when sometimes when you, 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 get, a, you, you get that one, that, that one fleet manager, the, 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 the the time with the company is 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 great and that's what it sounds like right it's that's how that, right. i guess that's what it sounds like what it is with you so far right i think you, you can have a garbage company with an amazing dm and you'll have a lot better time than being at an amazing company with a crappy dm if you know what i'm saying All it right. really make uh, like the dm makes or breaks the company's experience exactly <laughs> how how uh how how often are you are you home? What's what's your home time like, and are you able to take the truck home? Uh, yeah, yeah. They uh, what they'll do is you have to live in the mid. If you're on a Midwest account, and you have to you have to be from the account region in order to qualify for uh, going home every week. Now, if you aren't from the accounts region, like let's say you live on like California in your Midwest, then you get to go home like five or six days a month and that's guaranteed pay anyway mm -hmm. but uh if you live in the account then you get uh like one and a half to two days off now they say that you have to be quote unquote available to work six days a week but i've, I've never had that in my entire time being here I'm literally working six days and only got one day off now you know that's what oh. that's what KB does the same thing. You got to be available seven days a week, and I know you mentioned that earlier. Um, but you got to be available. So, yeah, you you got to like has literally. To, you have to be available six days. So let me and ask. Her spot, you have to be available six days. All right. So let me ask you this: Is the the availability and and does the availability means within that twenty four hour period? So if you don't get nothing say like during the day or anything like that and they just so happen to call you at about eight o'clock uh eight o'clock or uh eight o'clock at night nine o'clock ten o'clock at night and no you're say, guaranteed 24 hours okay so let's say you refuse the load with you know within that time frame are you still able to get that guarantee pay that's the question yeah yeah, because you're entitled to 24 hours. And like I said, I, in my entire career, I've never had, I've never been in a situation where I had 24 hours or less. It's always been 34 hours or 48 hours oh, okay. of home time. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. All right, man. Well, what else, uh, what, what else you, before you, you know, what else you like to leave the people with about Hirschbach, man? Yeah, just um, if you're thinking about coming over here, it's a good company to work for. I, of course, I'm going to be biased. And I'm going to say, always go W two and never go lease. But um, you know, there's always going to be people who are going to be naysayers. If you go go on Indeed or Monster and type every any trucking company you can think of, and there's always going to be guys with you know one star reviews writing about how they got screwed over and how everyone's the problem except them. And I'm here to tell you on my testimony that this is a decent company and I'm happy working here. And I'm not one of these dudes in a honeymoon phase who just got here three months ago making a review. I've been here for a solid year and I've had no issues with them. All right. All right. So you would say, so you, you would, um, you would recommend, uh, Hirschbot. How many, how you, you know, how many, uh, is, uh, what's the experience that, uh, that a, that a person need to, to, to come in to Hirschbach? 
Uh, yeah, I think it is three months. Oh, actually, we have a train a training new people, so you technically don't need any experience. But I think it's still six months experience to get on a dedicated account because it's more complicated and you're constantly dealing with customers every single day because they're shorter loads. But it's six months experience to get on a dedicated account with guaranteed pay, um, three months OTR, and we offer a training program to get a CDL. All right. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Well, uh, Jay, man, thank you for coming on. I really do appreciate it, man. If you uh, would like to come on again and chop it up with me, you got all the contact information uh, to reach out. Let's uh, let's touch bases. Maybe about six, seven months down the line, maybe your uh, maybe your attitude will probably change by then. But we'll see. We'll man. see. Man. We'll <laughs> yeah, see. Yeah, you'll make man. me a liar in six months. We'll see. <laughs> but it was a pleasure. Thank you for having me, man. Hey, I appreciate you coming on, bro. I really do, man. Hey, um. Listen, uh, I got a, I got your email. I need you to send me maybe a couple of selfies of yourself for the for the thumbnail. All right, yeah, that's awesome. All right, I appreciate you, my G. Thank you very much. And as uh, soon as I get finished with this, I'll go ahead and uh, send you uh, send you the link so you can uh, go ahead and share it and promote it and all that other good stuff. Awesome. Yeah, I get to watch myself. All right, nice. <laughs> well, that actually is actually is audio, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, yeah. All right, I'll bro. be watching them all. Them comments that your commenters gonna be right about me, man. They're gonna be talking about smoke, man. Oh, uh, well, that's what's that up. Make sure you be right make, my keyboard. Right? <laughs> well, make sure you be heavy in it, man. I appreciate you. Uh, I appreciate you subscribe to me, and I appreciate your support, bro. All right, man. Hey, dude, take care. Best of luck to you. Ah, right, thank you, and best of luck to you too, man. All right, man. Bye-bye. Awesome. Later.